What if everything you've been taught about Lucifer and Jesus is wrong? A bold question indeed. But we are here not to cause chaos, but to provoke thought, to challenge the status quo, and to explore the unexplored. For ages we've been told a tale. A tale where Lucifer is the embodiment of evil, the devil, the fallen angel. Meanwhile, Jesus, painted in hues of purity, is seen as the epitome of goodness, the savior of humanity. But what if this is not the whole story? What if this binary, this black and white narrative is not as cut and dried as we've been led to believe? Could there be hidden depths to these figures? Complexities and nuances that have been lost or perhaps deliberately obscured over the centuries? What if the very thing that could liberate you was condemned as satanic? Prepare to venture into the unknown and challenge long-held beliefs. What you discover may surprise you or even change your perspective forever. Lucifer, the devil, the fallen angel, we know him as the embodiment of all that is evil. From the pulpit to the Sunday school classroom, the tale of Lucifer's fall from grace has been etched into our collective consciousness. We've been told time and again about this once angelic figure blessed with beauty and wisdom, who in a fit of pride and rebelliousness dared to challenge the Almighty. His punishment? A swift and eternal expulsion from the heavenly realms, forever branded as the Prince of Darkness, the Master of Deception, the Instigator of Sin. Now let's flip the coin. On the other side we find Jesus, the beacon of love, the epitome of goodness, the savior of humanity. From his humble birth in a manger to his sacrificial death on the cross, we've been regaled with stories of his miracles, his teachings, his unparalleled compassion. Jesus, we've been taught, is the ultimate hero, the one who took upon himself the sins of the world, the one who offers us redemption and the promise of eternal life. This is the narrative we've come to accept. Lucifer, the villain, the embodiment of all that is evil, and Jesus, the hero, the epitome of all that is good. It's a tale as old as time, a narrative etched so deep into the fabric of our society that it's become a part of our cultural DNA. We're taught to fear the devil, to resist temptation, to seek refuge in Jesus, to strive for righteousness. But here's a thought to ponder. What if this narrative isn't as black and white as we've been led to believe? What if the line between good and evil isn't as clear-cut as we've been taught? What if, in our rush to label and categorize, we've missed the complexity, the nuance, the depth of these two figures? But what if this understanding is not the complete truth? What if this binary of good and evil is a simplification? Let's pause for a moment and question the narrative we've been fed for centuries. Lucifer and Jesus, two figures often painted as the epitome of evil and good, respectively. But could it be that this portrayal of them as binary opposites is a gross oversimplification? Let's challenge the traditional narrative. What if Lucifer, the so-called embodiment of evil, was not as wicked as we've been led to believe? And what if Jesus, hailed as the epitome of goodness and righteousness, had complexities that have been conveniently overlooked? In our quest for simplicity, we often reduce intricate characters to mere caricatures. We label them as good or evil, saint or sinner, hero or villain without considering the nuances that make them who they truly are. In reality, no one is wholly good or wholly evil. We are all a mix of virtues and vices, strengths and weaknesses, light and dark. This binary perspective of Lucifer as the devil and Jesus as the savior, while easy to understand, can be misleading. It prevents us from exploring the depths of these figures and understanding their true essence. It paints Lucifer as a one-dimensional villain and Jesus as a flawless hero leaving no room for their complexities and contradictions. What if we delve deeper into the characters of Lucifer and Jesus, beyond the simplistic labels of good and evil? What if we explore the shades of gray that lie between the stark black and white? What if we find that Lucifer, often condemned as the ultimate villain, was misunderstood? And what if we discover that Jesus, revered as the ultimate hero, was more complex than we've been taught? By challenging the binary, we open ourselves to a world of possibilities. We allow ourselves to question, to explore, and to understand. We break free from the shackles of oversimplification and embrace the complexities and contradictions that make us human. Could there be shades of gray in this binary black and white narrative? Let's dare to ask the questions that have been left unasked and uncover the truths that have been hidden for too long. The secret truth about Lucifer and Jesus that the church doesn't want you to know Let's embark on a journey that will take us down the rabbit hole of ancient texts, those that didn't make the final cut into the Bible. These texts, 
often referred to as the Apocrypha, hint at alternative interpretations of Lucifer and Jesus that are far from the narrative we've been presented with for centuries. Consider for a moment the possibility that Lucifer, the reputed embodiment of evil, may have been misunderstood and demonized unfairly. In the Hebrew language, the name Lucifer translates to light bringer or morning star, a name that, on the surface, doesn't seem to align with the persona of an ultimate villain. Could this be a clue that there's more to his character than meets the eye? In the Book of Enoch, a text not included in the canonical Bible, Lucifer is depicted not as a devilish antagonist, but as a celestial being who challenges the status quo, questioning the divine order. His fall from grace may not have been due to an act of evil, but rather an act of rebellion against what he perceived as injustice. Now, let's turn our attention to Jesus. We've always seen him as the epitome of goodness and righteousness. But what if his mission was not just about salvation, but also about awakening? In the Gospel of Thomas, another non-canonical text, Jesus is quoted saying, I have cast fire upon the world and see, I am guarding it until it blazes. This doesn't sound like the peaceful shepherd we're familiar with, does it? These texts suggest a different narrative, one where Lucifer, the light bringer, is a catalyst for change and enlightenment. And Jesus, while still a figure of love and sacrifice, is also a revolutionary, a fire starter, igniting the world with a new consciousness. The tale of Lucifer and Jesus might not be as straightforward as it seems. So as we delve deeper into the hidden corners of religious texts, remember to keep an open mind. The truth may be more complex and more enlightening than we ever imagined. What if Lucifer was the hero all along? Now let's delve deeper into this theory, this radical reinterpretation that could shake the very foundations of what we believe about good and evil. For centuries, we've been spoon fed a black and white narrative, Lucifer, the villain, Jesus, the hero. But what if this stark dichotomy is nothing more than an illusion, a smokescreen to keep us from exploring the full spectrum of truth? Let's consider Lucifer, often translated as light bringer or morning star. He was a figure of enlightenment, of knowledge, challenging the status quo. He dared to question, to rebel, to seek freedom. What if his fall from grace was not due to evil deeds, but rather a punishment for his audacity to seek knowledge and independence? Now let's juxtapose this with Jesus, the heralded savior. He preached love, forgiveness, and humility. Yet he also upheld the status quo, reinforcing a system that demonized knowledge and independence. While his teachings are indeed noble, they could also be seen as tools to maintain control, to keep the masses in check. This is not to vilify Jesus or sanctify Lucifer. Instead, it's an invitation to challenge our perceptions, to question the narratives we've been taught, and to seek the truth for ourselves. Imagine a world where Lucifer was not a symbol of evil, but a beacon of enlightenment. A world where Jesus was not the only path to salvation, but one of many. This interpretation could change everything. It could redefine our understanding of good and evil, of freedom and control, of knowledge and ignorance. This is the hidden truth that some may not want you to uncover. The truth that the very entity we've been taught to fear and reject may hold the keys to our liberation. It's a provocative idea, isn't it? But sometimes truth is stranger than fiction. The liberation you seek may be found in the most unexpected places. So then, what does this all mean for our understanding of Lucifer and Jesus? Well, if we take a step back and ponder over the revelations we've discussed, it urges us to reconsider the binaries we've been fed. The embodiment of evil Lucifer might not be the villain we've painted him to be. On the flip side, the epitome of goodness Jesus might not be as saintly as we've believed. This alternative narrative doesn't aim to vilify Jesus or glorify Lucifer. Rather, it pushes us to question the one-dimensional narratives we've consumed without question. It encourages us to delve deeper, to explore the multifaceted nature of these figures, and to acknowledge the complexities of their characters. By doing so, we give ourselves the freedom to interpret, to understand, and to find our own truth. It's time to question, explore, and embrace the hidden truths. The world isn't just black and white, and perhaps neither are Lucifer and Jesus.